Wesley PLL. Seriously, we still don't know what's in that barrel like OMG. Hey guys, and welcome back to Kelly TV. A lot of stuff in this episode that makes me happy, but one thing that doesn't is that we don't know who's in that freaking barrel, and it better be a who. I'm just saying, Marlene King, or you're gonna get a not so nice tweet from me. Don't string us along. So in this episode, we find out that Spencer's mom will be a consultant for Allie, which the girls think is weird, and honestly, so do I. Um, let's be real here. There's always been something shady about both of Spencer's parents, and they seem both to be a little too close to Allie. Let's be real. Oh, and guess who is back in town? Everyone's fave, Detective Holbrook. And I know lots of you were hoping that he was in that barrel, but obviously we know that that's not going to happen. So sorry. Oh, yeah. And Creepy Johnny has returned. Like, I can't even with this guy. I can't even look at his freaking face because he just freaks me out. So I have been reading up on some theories and you guys have been tweeting me and talking to me on YouTube and you tell me that he was actually in season one, episode three at Noel's party. Um, so what's up with that? He is like, you know, he's been around before. I think that totally confirms his shadiness. I will never ship him and Spencer. Just, just gotta throw that out there. I will never ship you, Johnny and Spencer. Spawny, I will never ship you. Anyway, what the French toast is up with Talia this week because she's acting really cray and really moody. Do you guys know what's up with that? Because I don't trust her either. Caleb may be in trouble with the police because they're wanting to re-interview re him about the storage space. I think we'll have to wait till next episode for that to all kind of come through. Oh, and new girl alert, Leslie, who claims, claims, gotta say claims in this show because you can't trust anybody, that she was a friend of Mona's and honestly, girl with the glasses and the super straight hair that looks like a wig, you look like you're wearing a disguise, just saying. The girls are super skeptical of her and her story and I think that they are correct in this. What are your thoughts about Leslie? I want to know what you think. So Spencer is snooping and her mom's stuff, and she happens to find a list of people who visited the jail recently, specifically Allie, and she snaps a quick pic, because we're going to find out why that's important a little bit later. So um, Hannah and Caleb catch Holbrook having like a stage 500 meltdown, and it looks like he's either been fired or demoted in the police station or from the police station. Um, he is not a happy camper. Uh, so let's get back to that visitor log. Uh, Spencer took that pic, thankfully, because she's the detective, as we know, and she finds a really, really, really odd name on that log. Well, it looks like, or it seems like, or it's totally like, um, Mike Montgomery has been visiting Allie in jail. Now, what's up with that? How shady is that? So she lets Arya know, and Arya is like super defensive, and she's like, well, there has to be some rational reason why he was doing this. Hmm, really, Aria? Really? We find out that Holbrook was suspended for inappropriate behavior. We just don't know what exactly that behavior was. What are your thoughts on his behavior? Be sure to let me know down below. So Leslie shows Hannah a book in Mona's room that will later become very important. It's an Edgar Allan Poe book, which I'm sure has some sort of symbolism. Um, we'll get back to that. Well, let's get back to it right now, because the book obviously becomes a pretty big deal when Leslie shows up at the brew with it. Mike sees the book, he immediately recognizes it, flips out. He's like, uh, why are you stealing Mona's stuff? Why are you stealing my girl's stuff? And he's like, look, you have got to return that to her room. No, in fact, I will return it to her room. And she's like, uh, no, what's up with this? And he just totally makes a scene that creeps out Hannah and Leslie, but they won't give him the book, thankfully, because I think he knew that there was a little surprise inside. Um, Here's another interesting tidbit. Leslie tells um, Hannah that she actually talked on the phone to Mona the night before she died. She heard some man being like, look, get off the phone. Like He was all angry, and she's pretty sure it was Mike. Now, here's my thoughts on this. Number one, I don't know if we can trust Leslie. She may be making this story up to make us not trust Mike. And number two, maybe it's true, and Mike is on the A-team, because I'm getting some mega A-team vibes out of you, Mike. Yeah, I mean, Cody Christian, you are hot. We're not going to deny it like you're sneaky hot because you got sneaky hot. But if you're on the A-team, I'm going to have to back away. I'm just going to have to gonna have to say no to you right now. So we got some Mona flashbacks. Yes, that is awesome. But as typical Mona, she was being uber cryptic and talking about stopwatches. And to me, it sounded like a lot of nonsense. But you know it's not. And you know that it has a deeper meaning. And I've watched it twice, and I'm still trying to figure it out. So if you have any theories about 
what exactly she meant. If you can decipher that mumbo jumbo, please post down below and tell me what you think Mona was actually talking about. So we finally find out why Mona's book was so important. Well, it seems like or we find out that there was a hidden surprise inside a mini cassette tape, which I honestly thought didn't exist anymore, but I'm hearing from a lot of you that you use them for different things. So I learn something every day. Um, what is up with Johnny and the weird whisper machine? Could this guy be any more weird? Like, seriously. I cannot stand him, but I know that that machine is important, and I know he's going to have a big role in this show. So, um... You know, I think, honestly, I think he's obsessed with the whole Allie story. That's kind of my thought right now, but it may be deeper than that. But he just seems like a creeper, like, obsessed with all the Allie drama. So Caleb and Hannah actually find out what is on that mini tape, and it's Bethany's voice. It sounds like she's talking to someone at Radley. She keeps calling someone a bitch, and she's like, look, this person is evil. This girl is evil, like, not just evil, like, seriously evil. And our first thought is, okay, she's talking about Allie, and that's even what Hannah says. But no, that's too easy. So who was she talking about? I've heard some of you say Mrs. D, some of you say CC. Tell me down below, who was she talking about? Because I want to know what you think. So this has got to be, like, most definitely off the charts, Mike's creepiest episode ever. We see him going out to, I guess, like, the lake. Um, Aria is secretly following him. And he puts what looks to be, like, a bag of sour gummy candy, which I'm all about because I love me some sour gummy candy. He leaves that, like, there for somebody. I don't know what that is, but I know that has some significance. Was that like Mona's favorite candy or what's up with that? But then he totally finds out that Arya was stalking him, and let me tell you, he is not happy. In fact, he's freaking rude to her. She's like, you cannot go back and visit Allie. And he's like, I will do what I want, and you're not the boss of me. So we find out later that, not, yeah, he's going to do what he wants. Um, here's some huge news that was dropped in this episode. Spencer's mom tells Spencer that that blood found by the creepy barrel that they will not tell us what's inside, yeah, that blood was not um, Mona's blood. That was Allie's blood. And it looks like in the next episode, A has like all other girls' blood. So what is up with that? I want to know your thoughts on that too. Holbrook has seriously lost his mind. I think he was driving drunk or something in the police car when he's not supposed to be. He pulls Hannah over. I'm sure she wasn't doing anything wrong. Then he acts really weird. The only thing that he did that made sense was to say that he wasn't involved in this whole kidnapping thing. Kidnapping? Where am I getting kidnapped? He wasn't involved in the murder thing, the Mona murder thing. Um, he's not involved in the storage incident with, with the, what's going on with the barrel. He's not involved in that. And he's not, guys. He's totally not. I think he's totally being blackmailed. But the question is, who is blackmailing him? So, finally, we had the moment that I don't think anyone was waiting for. But if it was you, post down below. If you were happy that Talia and Emily finally kissed. Tamily, Timily. I'm trying to think of a name for these two. Um, let me know, do you ship these two? I'm going to have to say I don't. I'm honestly tired of her jumping from person to person. It's like, oh, first girlfriend died, and then it's like, oh, hey, Paige, and then Paige disappears, and she might even be dead, and then it's like, oh, hey, Talia. I can't even get involved with these people, and I don't trust Talia. So I don't ship it. I don't think I ever will. Hannah and Spencer think that Mike is working for Allie, which is incorrect. Uh, if anything, I think he's going there because of one or one or two things. He's either going there to torment her because he's on the A-team, going to visit her to tor torment her, or he's going to visit her because he has been blackmailed to do so. So the girls do have an interesting thought. They think that Bethany was trying to say in that tape that what happened to that night that Allie was knocked out and presumed murdered was a total setup, which I think we can all agree is true. So the episode ends with Mike visiting Allie once again in jail, which we all knew was going to happen, even though Arya actually thinks she was going to stop him from doing that. And A comes to uh, Mona's room to retrieve that tape out of the book, only to find that someone beat him to it. And a lot of you think that that was Mike. Do you think that was Mike? Or do you think it was another creepy A-team member? I had rock star comments on my video as usual, and I always select a subscriber of the week, and it's always difficult, but um, I really like this theory that I got from Kenzie, who thinks that Paige killed Mona. Um, that's why she had to leave town so fast, and that's why no one's heard from her. I'm kind of digging it. I haven't heard it before. Maybe you have, but it's new to me, and I liked it. I liked her thinking outside of the box, so... Kudos to you, Kenzie. If you want to be my subscriber of next week, all you have to do is answer any of the questions that I threw out in this video, post any kind of theory that you have about any part of PLL. I respond to everyone, and I will maybe choose you and focus, uh, feature you and put your picture on for next week. 
Also, what I do every Wednesday night that you should totally be a part of, Wednesdays at 6 o'clock Eastern, I have a live web show. So it is a PLL show here on my channel. Also with the brand Instacator, which is a very cool way to watch TV and earn prizes while you're watching your favorite shows. Like, how cool is that? So you can join me, you can ask me questions, and I will answer them live. Like, it's the coolest, coolest thing ever. Every Wednesday, 6 o'clock Eastern. If you have not subscribed to me, what are you waiting for, PLL fan? Because I love all my PLL fans. I love PLL and subscribe so that we can become friends because I feel like all of you are my friends. Um, follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, and follow me on Instagram because I will follow you back and I will interact with you because I love you guys. So again, thank you for watching this episode of Kelly TV and I will see you next time. <laughs>